Ah yes, new year, new me, I mean, mental illness. Hello there everyone, it's me again, Mountain General, and another Hearts of Iron 4 video is on the table. So bon appetit, and if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe for more map game videos, and also like the video if you enjoyed it. I suppose that most of you read the title of the video, and if not, you are fucking based. Well, today we are playing with Why the Russia Expand? mode and we will try to defeat every communist nation in the world. And to make it a bit harder for myself I will set all nations that we can to go communist to have well more enemies to kill of course. And now we just have to kill ourselves here in the Soviet Union and by killing ourselves I mean to kill every Bolshevik. Because like you know you can consider a civil war for a nation to be kind of a suicide. First First thing first, beaten but not defeated. Well, except in vanilla you have literally no general, so that's beaten and defeated in a nutshell. And yes, we will be very happy if a vein bursts in Stalin's head. You see, Stalin's political paranoia will be a very funny thing to deal with. You know, this is very nice, but soon the Soviet Union will cease to exist. Now the world is interestingly heating up with communist civil wars in the Baltic states and also in Italy and Spain as well. And me, I'm just dancing on the ice with Stalin. And even Poland nicely exploded, the Europe is looking like a funny place to be in. Oh, even Japan nicely exploded and never seen a green Japan in my life. But hey, there's first time for everything. Except for sex, don't talk to women boys. There is an anti-Stalinist conspiracy going on and what does Stalin do? He kills his own generals. This is Soviet Union, baby. And now soon we will be able to use our hands to do nefarious things. Like make the Soviet Union explode. And now the second Russian civil war starts. And we can modify our little land list that I gave to the Spanish. Basically this is how you get all your equipment back. Now, to victory boys, we are led by the white army leadership and basically we are ready to reclaim our land and even partisans that will um, very soon die I think. You'll see they will be useful. Japanese Soviet Republic requests assistance from me. Nah, fuck off. And yes, yeah, soon we will take care of these Soviet forces. Oh shit, they have tanks. But that doesn't matter because we have a lot of one battalion trucks and we will be able to go around them. We just have to, you know, use the size of the Soviet Union against it. Yes, Europe is on fire more than ever. But anyway, we are on our way to the Moscow. And we can take enemy divisions as ours, but I don't know why they are spawning here in the Far East, but NKVD and its loyalty everyone. Yes, so um, NKVD for the white Russians. And yes, the Brits have lost their minds as well slowly working towards that communism. But the things are looking good for us. More encirclements, more dead red Russians. Ah, I love this turf war. And we will be also in a war with the Baltic states, I guess. Yeah, why not? I want them too. And I have ended the League of Nations. I'm just the best. And now, even because of this uh, jihadist republic, well, we are able to encircle more Russians and fight many more wars. And this is exactly how you want to do this. You want to just sneak around to Moscow from north. And it seems like that my lone truck will be barely able to make it to Moscow. And yes, this city will be ours. And even Vlasov offers to the fact, yes, we are taking him. And it seems like that we have just won the war. Just like nothing. Ura! Sovietsky Soyuz Nash! So yeah, this is how it's done, but we still have to finish few little shit stain on this map. And finally, we'll start a slow process of this time and securing our power in Russia and then in the world. 
The capital will be in St. Petersburg, please. And also let's rename everything back to normal. Oh yeah, any communists that didn't escape this country will die. We are all okay with it. Right guys? Yes. Also I think I forgot to mention is that we have the balance of power within the white movement and yeah, we just trying not to have here a civil war. And soon we will be restoring orders in a lot of places and yeah, our generals have their own alignments here and even Zhukov is on our team and also I really like the fact that we can expand to the Baltics and not really yeah we just have to get our shit together as soon as possible because communists won in Italy and established their rule here and also anarcho-communists in Ethiopia and the dream of anarcho-communist Ethiopia might be in danger by this little warlord era in Ethiopia yeah so that's communism taken care of there I have to well deal with this bullshit in the Baltics and a new communist bloc just formed between Greece and Czechoslovakia dark times for us indeed even the Yugoslavia joined now for us it's time to coronate our Tsar and just hope for the best and now the Zemsky Sobor has chosen we will have Tsar Sevolo the first as our leader and the Balkans are just the usual Balkans as you can see as always more conflicts more more blood and yes we have finally turned green with Tsar Sevolod in charge god save our Tsar oh no even big things are happening in the United States of America which will be soon the communist states of America and my dude Germany Soviet Union doesn't exist and I'm considered a great Eastern menace by the Teutons that's really nice of them you know, I, literally not the Soviet Union, have announced a large-scale exercise. Yes, I have been doing that for a while now. Oh no, literally everyone is going communist. I wonder why. You know, I have found a solution for all of my problems. I can finally create a faction with Estonia. Now, this is the faction everyone has been waiting for. And we can finally end these two goofy uh, Soviet republics. Well, maybe. Oh, this is very nice. We can still get a lot of claims and a lot of bonuses actually by, well, playing into that Soviet ramp up military build up, boys. Yeah, we are just the best. You know, I really love this post Soviet schizophrenia that always gives me two options to pick from. The Russian influence over the People's Republic of Spain is concerning when we didn't do shit there. And yes, we will have elections in Russia. Let that sink in. Now we have here important election of 1939. And we have a lot of good candidates to choose from. And yeah, there is like too many options for me. But from the bonuses and really think about it I feel like Viktor Baidalakov will be the best leader for our country and yeah maybe I have just fucked up you know we will see how long this will last but uh, one day Russia will kill every communist you know this all isn't going according to my plans when we are a democratic nations with no elections but let's try to you know steer some controversy with this war and oh shit oh fuck I may have just entered a war in the east you know I hope that they would join the Czechoslovakian faction but no this shit is pretty bad and what is Stalin doing here and what fucking five year plan doesn't matter Estonia is my only ally in this war War. I've disbanded my faction to join the chink. What is it even called? The Asian League. Yes, sir. We will die for Asia. And also it appears that we are at war with the fucking Greek faction. So this will be very nice and good indeed. It's time for the true Russian military build-up. And it seems like that the Americans are starting a beef with Denmark. That is in the German faction. The world is only getting better and better every day. Okay, we have brought back the Tsar because we need him and we need to strike against Poland and end all of this charade at our border. We just have to move quickly before all of the Czechoslovakians turn up and we need to shoot every Polish peasant that we find. Now we had to retreat a little bit, this is just a strategical retreat. 
Nothing to worry about, we will hold them on the Tsarist line. Quick update on my situation, it seems like that I have killed every Polish person ever and the Asian front is nicely stabilized, so we just have to worry about the Europe. And the Germans just came to my rescue, thank you very much. Although it seems uh, rather interesting what they are doing with their political situation. But this all is pretty good because the communists have left our front opened. Yes, this is just a dream invasion and our heroic Russian soldiers have captured Warsaw. Now we are on our way to the treacherous Balkans. The British got involved in a war against other communists, so communist infighting, let's go. And yes indeed, it's time to end this fucking Japan. Hopefully nobody is here and everyone is trying to protect China. So we will see. I oh, yeah, the Russian Blitzkrieg. You know, this is the most force attack I have ever done on Japan. I just want this fucking war to be over. Now I will show you what happens if you mix vodka with sake. Yes, this is all I wanted. A nice clean Japan with generic lead. And Zambia declared embargo on me. What will I even do? Anyway, it's time for Greece that is defended by fucking French. Ah yes, another pointless war. Let's go. I love this shit. Oh, and now even the Portuguese are starting some shit and I will dare to start another shit with the Britoids here. We just have to destroy them and take over their fleet so we can then invade the United States of America that have a lot of fun with the Mexicans I see. You see now I smell a great opportunity here in America. Yeah I done a focus that defends Slavs while we have killed all the Slavic people here. Let's now hope for some fucking results because we need to destroy the treacherous British and it seems like that might be even easier than I thought. Yes, no more union of fucking Britain. London nicely ours, Soviet tanks in the city, I mean Russian tanks in the city are beautiful. We will brutally massacre every communist because clearly we are the good guys. And even finally Zhukov's American expedition just arrived in time to save communist nation from another the communist nation. We will figure this out after this war of course. Oh no, we have been encircled inside of an encirclement. Yes, I'm going fucking nuts from this war. Oh well, hello there large ass fleet. Well, it seems like that we won't even need that fleet when we go through Mexico. You see, no time we will be done with the Americans in America. Remember the Alamo and America is pretty much done here. Oh, yeah, this is a huge W for the Russian army. And when I thought that things would be cool, the Italians just had to ruin the fun. So this is the entire Italian army on a very nice display. Enjoy this view. I have been trying to get to this damn city for far too long. Ah, you see, we defeat Italy and all the Italians just crawl up to New York. That's very typical of them. And Operation Zhukov's fat cock was a success. Now, as you can see from the ideological map, our work isn't done yet. Somehow the Germans have switched to communism while at war with the communists. You either die as a hero or live long enough to become communist. And now, for some reason, Turkey decided decided that it would be a good idea to declare war on me. I'm happy that they are in their own fiction and are ready to die. Fucking hell, what the fuck. Turkey just joined the German faction and we are, uh, we are fucking screwed here. Never mind, it seems like that we will have to use our old defensible line. And the fucking Romanians smelled blood in the water and declared war on me as well. Well, this will be a lot of fucking fun. We are being attacked from every possible side, even though they can't use their territories, they somehow cross Latvia and are trying to, well, fuck me from behind. But yeah, this will be a true wild ride. Now I'm blitzing through Romania, just hopefully we don't get cut here in the middle. Why the fuck would you side with 
with the communists. And what I really like is that we have encircled so many Germans in Romania. We will be eating for the longest time fermented German soldiers. And yes indeed it's time for a Russian D-Day with Americans and British. So yeah, this war is going surprisingly better than I thought it would. For a second I thought the German war machine would kill us all. But no, but it's all good. I have big news everyone, I have created a device that instantly removes communism from your body. Yes, they have been asking for it. There will be more to come if they don't surrender. You know, this is such a brutal war that so many people died for communist Germany and I have almost killed every German in Germany when they are on scrapping the barrel. Man, I got to tell you that this was a nightmare. You know, I got to say, I really love this alliance because it is Mr. Pui and Sevolot, the alliance of two nerds. Now it's also the right time to end the Mexican communism. Now I have noticed that Panama went communist so this means death. And we will have to fight the whole fucking South America, I can't wait. Time for some funny business down in the south. Yes, I love South American terrain. How did you know? Bye bye this little city. Also one of the last bastions of communism is Spain. And yes, we are just going to get them. I let this shit slide for far too long. But no more, we will be soon done with everyone. Oh, Americans successfully landing on Cuba? You know, let me support their naval invasion a little bit. You see, I'm so generous that I won't spare any islands with my nukes. Everything that I do with my nukes is, is justifiable and at worst it's morally grey. And after the complete destruction of South America, the last communist nation on earth is fucking Canada. So that's why we are going to burn this nation to the ground. Now this is the big bang for the big finale. As I said, nuclear bombs are the best cure for communism. And well, this was a horrible challenge that, well, took me for so fucking long, but as you can see the map, all communists are dead. And well, maybe we have killed a lot of people that weren't communists, those are just people that just got caught in the crossfire. Tell me in the comments what did you think about this wild vanilla ride with White Russia expanded where we killed, well, all the commies, we basically just ended the world hunger minus the Africa. As always, big thanks goes to my channel members, their names are in the description and on the screen right now. And a special thanks goes to Razonon and Andrea, Pretender of Croatia, for being the highest channel members.